Uh, Rob, look, we're coming into what is going to be a very physical group in the World Cup and the warm-up games, starting with Italy and then particularly England and Samoa, are going to be a good physical test. How do you feel you're uh, trending towards that in terms of the preparation you're doing now to reach that kind of physical peak? Yeah, I mean, look, all international games these days are physical. Like, it, it is what it is. And um, I think it's, you know, we obviously we've been back. This is our fourth week training and we're starting to build the contact up slowly. Um, and I think a lot of it's a mindset as well. So, like, we, we've shown over the last few campaigns that we can be physical. We are a physical team. So, um, look, it's just about doing the things we do well and, you know, the physicality side of things. When you're playing for international rugby for your country, like, that looks after itself. Yeah. Uh, particular position of poker at the moment, we're incredibly blessed. What's it like to be in that position and to be competing and driving on with particularly yourself and Ron and Dan and everyone else? Yeah, I know there's some good players, aren't there? Um, I could, I, I always say like uh, this question gets asked a lot, and like it's it's good for it's good for the squad. Um, you know, iron sharpens iron and all that. So, like we compete really hard for, against each other, but we also really like we help each other on, and we have a good group going. We're you know, we're learning off each other. We're not, there's no hidden secrets or anything like that. We just want the group to be as good as it can be. So, um, I like it's it's great competition. I think we all get better for it. So, you'd rather have it that way than anything else, really. And like it seems to be throughout the Six Nations, particularly not just in Hopper, but in prop or in the centre. No matter who goes out and who needs to step up, everybody has has done that incredibly well when given their opportunity. Everyone has slotted in really well. Ha- what happens in training to get to people to, to that level that they're ready to step in at, at a moment's notice? Oh, it's, it's the way we train. Like uh, you know, we've always got sort of two teams training and the guys on, on the pitch, but we sub in and out all the time. Particularly the hookers, we would sub between both teams, and so you get used to like you know being in and out and having a break, having to come on, perform something. And I think it's 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 been really good to be able to do that as a squad over the last number of seasons, where you know we like in the Six Nations, like you said, like people came in people went out there was a lot of chopping and changing in the team throughout this, the campaign and I think it's just going with the flow of that dealing with it as it comes and it's it's like a World Cup it's a long tournament um, we've got a big squad that we're going to take to it and there's going to be changes so I think the fact that we've been able to do that over the last number of uh, campaigns is, is brilliant and it's good practice for us yeah absolutely like how, how important is that because particularly in the World Cup when the games are coming week on week thick and fast injuries inevitably happen how good preparation was the Six Nations and having to deal with things like going down 14 men against Scotland or whatever it might be to prepare you for that situation in the World Cup? Yeah, well, I mean, you can't get any freakier than that Scotland game, really. The Josh having to throw in the line outs, Kian in the scrum and Hooker. And, um, you know, the, like these things happen. And uh, I think one of the things is during the campaign or when they were happening, there was like no panic or it was just like, right, who, who's in, what's, who, what's going to happen? how you're going to do the job kind of thing and I think that's the composure of the squad at the moment and a lot of that comes up from, from the leadership you know, and, and, and everything around that so um, yeah I think like I said to be able to have those scenarios in, in big games in the Six Nations and it can only be, be good for us going into a World Cup where there's going to be injuries there's going to be changes short turnarounds and I think just learning to go with the flow I think yeah, and composure is, is the word, like to be cool under pressure and to be adaptable. Like that almost seemed like to be the theme of the Six Nations, overcome whatever obstacles came yeah. in your way. How do you how do you prepare for that? How do you train that? How do you get a group to, to um in, in, in bold that mindset, you know? Yeah, well a lot of it's like we like we work really closely with Gary Keegan, um, on the mental side of things and you know, being able to to be calm in those situations, it's it's not something that just happens, like we, we practice it as a group. Um, and I think there's just really great buy-in from everyone, from the players, the staff, everything. Um, and like I said, it's something we really work on and it showed particularly that Scotland game where you know some of the things we, we've been saying have come into practice and um, seem to work out. So you know, we'll keep working at it and keep getting better as well because we're going to need it for the World Cup. Yeah, and just one last one. When you're going into a World Cup and you come, back off, come off the back of the Six Nations where you have had to overcome obstacles, and you got over the line, you achieved the goal, you won the Grand Slam. How much confidence do you take from the system that when you needed to fall back and under a line, what you've been told by your management and you've trained for, that it actually came to fruition? And how much confidence then can you take into the World Cup off the back? Yeah, I mean, it's massive confidence. Like, 
it, you know, something that we we be building together as a squad, um, and to see it like work and come in there in big games and even in New Zealand, like we had we had lots of chopping and changing and injuries and like I think it's obviously great to see it, it works for us and um, we're getting better at it as well. So you know, coming the World Cup, uh, I'm sure we're gonna gonna have situations that we're just gonna have to get on with and get over. So yeah, all good, all good in terms of that.